Hey everybody, welcome to Strayed Congregational Church. I'm the pastor of this church and I've been here for the last six and a half years. This year, 2016, is an important year in our calendar uh, because we're celebrating our second century of existence as a local church. Of course, I haven't been the pastor here for the entire time, uh, but what we would like to do in this DVD is give you a, a brief introduction and overview to the church that is right on your doorstep in your community. I'm sure maybe some of you know the church and know a little, a, a little bit about the church, but for those of you perhaps that do not, I'd love to take the opportunity just to introduce you and uh, to try and encourage you to come along uh, at appropriate points and celebrate with us this very important uh, year for the church and for the district as well. church in Strayed was initially built in 1816 and in 1857 it was rebuilt and enlarged. That makes the church 200 years old. And if you were to come to Strayed today you would be surprised and delighted to see the original internal structure and external structure of the church sanctuary as it was back in 1857. It's a beautiful old church with a lot of history and a lot of sentimental value associated with it as well. Like most churches, folks, on a Sunday we run a regular program. We have a, a morning service and an evening service. These are worship services. During these services, uh, we seek to draw our attention and our focus to God himself, and we do that by singing uh, about him, singing to him, praying to him, reading about him, and then also studying about him in the Bible. Uh, we love uh, to work our way systematically through books that are, are in the Bible. Uh, we like to pay attention to some of the detail in, in, in the books, and we like to work our way through uh, books in the Bible verse by verse. We believe that every word and, and every verse uh, and every passage in the Bible is important for us to, to grasp and to understand. And so we, in our effort to worship God as a family here, we do that by studying the scriptures. On a Sunday morning, before our morning worship service, folks, we do uh, also run a Sunday school ministry. And uh, this, uh, we, we like to cater for children at this particular event every Sunday. And uh, we, we would love to invite your children to come along and be a part of that as well. We also offer a walking bus service in the village itself, in the immediate vicinity of the church. And uh, so we have folk who will come out and walk around the village and they will escort children uh, to the church buildings safely. Uh, and uh, they will ensure then that moms and dads can maybe have a wee extra line on a Sunday morning. Folks, we read in the New Testament that the Lord Jesus Christ himself loved children very much and took to do with them. And we seek to emulate his love for children as a, as a local church here in Strait. And we do that by way of a number of youth-oriented ministries. Uh, for example, on a Tuesday, we run a mums and tots ministry, which reaches out to mothers and grandmothers and carers of little ones who are not even um, nursery school age. And they come along on a Tuesday morning. We cater for the ladies. We teach, pamper them, care for them, help them. 
uh, while the children are very well entertained and looked after in our wonderful facilities here in our church. Uh, we also, on a Friday night, uh, run our Pathfinder groups. Uh, this caters for children from three years of age up until third year, and they are, are very well looked after in the various Pathfinder groups. We have three of them uh, for the various age groups, and uh, we have a, a very skillful and loving folk from the church who are involved in working with the children on a Friday night. After the uh, Pathfinder Ministries on Friday nights, a little bit later in the evening, we run up our uh, Open Door Youth Club, and this, of course, caters then for the oldest uh, age bracket. Uh, children from third year and up are able to come along. Young folks, shall I say, are able to come along and be a part of our youth club on Friday nights. So can I extend a very warm invitation to parents again and grandparents and foster carers and adoptive parents and anybody that has children in their care, bring them along on a Friday night and we will certainly look after them for you and you'll be able to get that cup of tea on a Friday night uh, without the pressure of the kids on you as well. As a church, we love working with men and women, uh, and so uh, to facilitate that, we have two committees in the church that put together two very amazing programs every year for us, and uh, as far as the men are concerned, gentlemen, you want to hear this. We arrange water sports nights where we have speed boats up on the river band, we put guys on water skis, we put them on biscuits behind boats, and we give them a f fabulous night with a barbecue thrown in at the end. Uh, we also do clay pigeon shooting from time to time, and we organize a number of field trips out uh, for the lads uh, as well during the course of the year. The ladies, on the other hand, I believe, really are the heart of the church. Straight congregational women meet on a regular basis and have a diverse program covering a range of topics like modern womanhood, grief, and a host of other relevant subjects. The women are also very passionate about supporting missionary endeavors. They seek to study God's word and to cater to the women in our church, old, young, and all ages in between as well. Another highlight on our church calendar uh, takes place in the summer months, and that's our Holiday Bible Club, which really is a week of children's ministry in the church. And uh, we throw the whole church premises open, and we invite children of all age groups uh, to come along and be a part of this wonderful event. It's a very busy week, it's a fantastic week, there's a load of fun and there's a load of learning as well. We as a church here in Strait uh, don't see ourselves as an isolated independent church that is not connected with the wider world. We know that, and we, we see ourselves very much as part of the wider Christian community and this is reflected uh, in the fact that we uh, have numerous mission trips that occur during the year, mostly over the summer months and uh, depending one year uh, to the next very slightly, but a good number of our folk are involved in Christian ministry work abroad and in other parts of the United Kingdom as well. 2016 is a very special year in the life of Stray Congregational Church uh, because in this year we are celebrating our bicentenary. To mark this very special year, a series of events has been planned in the church um, this will commence on Sunday, the, the 27th of March. That's Easter Sunday this year. Other highlights on this particular program include a Children and Community Fund Day that will be taking place in May. And then in the month of June, we plan to host a special night of music and history. Um, details of all these events can be found on the leaflet that is included in this DVD pack. And I would just like to take the opportunity as the pastor of this church to extend a very warm welcome to everybody to come along and join us at these events. Thank you.